Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Tuesday. It's January 5th, or I'm sorry, July the 5th. I don't know where January came from. Uh, let's hope it's not January. But anyways, July 5th, this will be our chart lesson for the day. And interesting day, it pretty much ended up somewhat as high as I, as I was expecting it to this morning. If you remember, if you see our mid-morning chart, I talked about it, even though we were trading way down here early this morning, we were trying to bounce off that midline. And so I felt there was a good chance we'd either have a mixed day or a rally in the end. And we did rally strongly, but in the end, it looks more like a mixed day. We did close up. So, um, but you can still see we're just kind of working sideways here. We didn't, we weren't able to follow on through. Of course, that's the midline of the, um, the envelope bands there so um the fact that we're we're pretty much turning down off them is not a surprise hopefully we can get some momentum and push on through there my guess is we should be headed back to test this um downward trend line and there's also this short term trend working up here that we should be working to test that high as well so my guess is we're headed to this trend line um, again, this market's pretty weak, so it wouldn't surprise me if we just turned down and traded down, but, um, price action tells us that we should be headed back to this trend line soon. So anyway, that's the way I saw it this morning. That's the way it somewhat played out. So, uh, let's flip over to the intraday 2000 tick chart and we'll go through the trade. Okay. Here's a look at the, uh, 2000 tick chart. And this morning we were when I posted the chart, we were down here in this trading range, trading in this really sideways stuff here. And you can see we broke out and failed and came back. But we were finding this support down here. And both of these, both the yellowish trend channel and the flatter blue one had both had a break and a new low by that point. So... Even though we didn't get any follow through here, I felt like it was probably at the minimum was going to be sideways kind of day and that there was a good chance because of what the daily chart was hinting at. Uh, at that point, we were kind of bouncing off that midline on the daily chart. So it made me think, hey, we're probably still going to try to trend higher and that's trade higher. And that's what happened here. Uh, you can see we finally caught some traction and we had this blue channel, had a break and new high here, but it still continued to push higher. So... Um, it pretty much played out kind of how sometimes that's, I mean, that's why we look at the daily chart because sometimes it's just hard to know here, but you can go to a little bigger chart and maybe get another clue. And that daily chart does tend to help with that. So, uh, anyway, let's go through the trades. Let's get, th let's get through those real quick. And, um, cause of the holiday, I'm a little bit behind. I'd like to wrap this up and get out of here. I'm a little late getting this done too, but seven o'clock came on this move down off the trend line here. Uh, and then we just kind of work sideways. I don't see anything here that you probably would want to trade uh, to get short. And then we dropped on down. And then we got the close outside. But you can clearly see it look like another flatter channel. This is a little too steep. And this looks like a more healthy trend. Um, but at that point, we were still in this little sideways congestion. But we had a lower high here. This broke higher by a tick or so. And there's still plenty of room. I like that one just to take a quick short. Maybe it drops on down. In this case it doesn't but it's it's an easy scalp and then eventually it does push on down but there's no way to really enter that uh, and then we're just kind of working sideways again but you can see at this midline here we tried to go this is actually a little bit lower here and we tried to go higher once twice three times and you can see that midline and EMA holding and this is a failed second entry long this one is close to being red. It's hard to market red when you go short at the very low of the day, but this is a weak trend. I mean, this is a, I shouldn't say a weak trend. This is a very strong downtrend. And so these kind of moves will probably give you a scalp and you might catch another run down. So I like that one. I don't think you can quite make that one red, but, but it's close. Uh, but if, if you weren't going short at the very low here, and you could have taken it on the engulfing bar, but it's probably better to wait for that to close and see if we go lower, which 
we end up, I mean, you probably would have scalped out before it bounced there, but then I don't think you want to take that entry because uh, it should have dropped on down if we were going to really trend lower. And you can see it starts fading out here. And we get a second entry here, but we're not back to the trend line. So until we get that lower high and it breaks lower right there, I'm real leery about going short. And I'm still leery about going short. You can make the argument that that's a triple test, though. And you can see we we made that high. We test it once. We test it twice. And technically, this is like a little double bottom. So you could almost call that a second entry, too. So maybe you take that trade. Uh, I don't think you want to look for any buys in here. And then, of course, we finally get the break. Have this little channel working up. We get a close outside, a new high. And then now we're working towards the new low. For, uh, we've already had the new low at this point for the yellow channel, and now we need a new low for this blue channel. And you can see here we try to go higher once, twice. That's a nice failure with a big bearish bar. Uh, again, I really thought it would drop on down, but it doesn't. It just kind of chop sideways, but you get an easy scalp out of it. And you get another second entry here. I didn't mark this one, but I was trying to decide if I should make that one. I'm, I'm just going to make it green. Uh, because we already have a new low in place. And you can see that even on this, I normally don't doll the trend on this one, but you can see we already had a break in new low, and then there's two legs up, and we are closing above the EMA. So I'm not crazy about that one. But you could argue again that there's a triple test, one, two, three. So it looks a little like this right here. Um, so maybe you take that trade. But I just think it's real risky with a break and new low on both of these, the blue and this. Let's just go ahead and make this one khaki colored here. And then, of course, we bounce and you get a first entry and another second entry. And you can see all that resistance right across there. I like going short again. And this time you do get a nice move. And you get this a new low and they're bouncing. You don't want to go long yet. And. You might argue there's a reversal here. Uh, it's really not a reversal, though. Uh, but you've got a first entry, second entry. But this looks like one move up, really. I mean, there's two legs in that leg and then a move. It's a little convoluted. I don't think I'd take that trade, even though there's probably a good trap. And you can tell the shorts had to exit. Look at it. I mean, if you took that one, if you understand what's going on, that you're probably going to have a trap and you're going to run stops right there, maybe you take that trade. And, but that's what they have to do. They have to break it lower. And usually you'll get a better setup than this. But in this case, it, it's the same thing. It's a failed break lower that's going to trap a bunch of shorts. And plus, you've already got a bunch of people that were probably already short getting short here. And then suddenly they realize right here, hey, I'm on the wrong side. And you can tell they all had to exit. Look at that move. So that's what you're, you're basically playing a trap there. So if you saw that trap and you traded it, good eye I will, I will it's it's aggressive though so but that's the kind of trades if you understand what's going on that's the kind of trade you're looking for on a failed break lower right there especially since all the channels to the downside have played out we run back to the top there's a lower high here but you still got that green channel in play uh there's a failure here but it's above the ema it doesn't set up properly you can't really take that trade and of course, you, quickly thereafter, you get a break and a new low, and then you're just chopping sideways. I don't see anything in here that I would risk going long or short on. And then suddenly we break out. And you do make a lower high here. I was hoping you'd get a reversal, but you don't. And you drop on down, you get a close outside and a new low. And you're just chopping sideways again. Just stay out of that stuff. And you do drop down here to the lows. You test it once, twice, three times. Then look at that nice bar. I like going long there. And we actually come back and test it again for good measure. And so if it breaks higher, you can, you, you, you're probably almost certain to go back to the EMA. And with that many tests, you might even turn higher again. You get a higher low here, but it's right into the EMA with two bar matching high. I don't take that. You might have seen this as a reversal. If you took it, it would have worked. But if you're drawing your trends here, you can see it looks like an overshoot. So you may not get a, um, 
you, there's a good chance you're going to go lower here. So uh, I just think it's too risky to trade that as a failure with that overshoot right there. So, and you can't really, you don't really get a short there. And it looked like we were going to have another triple test, but the signal bar is not any good and it just breaks. I mean, there's just another little channel going on here basically is what it is. And you can see that right there. I'll just make it darker pink where it's easier to see. And we break out again. Now you might have traded this as a breakout, but the fact that we're coming off these lows scares me away. Look to see if you get a lower high. You do way down here. It doesn't, not really what you want to trade. And so again, you don't really get a good chance to trade that. And this signal bar is not very good. It's more of a neutral bar. Uh, it's real close to the EMA and it takes off. So, but unfortunately you just don't get a chance to get in that. And then we're just chopping sideways again. Now there is a triple test here. Uh, I didn't mark this one because we made a higher high here than, than this one. And then we really, even though that's an equal high, it made up, you're still making higher highs on each swing here. You might take that one. I just think with us rallying out here, it's a little bit early. And of course you fell out the low side and fell out the high side. And then finally, you get a second entry long right off the lows with a good signal bar. I like that one, especially after breaking out and then failing here. And this is a higher low than this double bottom. On, and there's clearly two legs down. And it does go lower first before it turns up. Too bad we didn't get a good higher low here that you could take. And it takes on off and then comes right back again. They just they just can't couldn't get it rolling here. Every rally seemed to find hard selling and there's no chance to get short in here nothing uh, above that ema that i'd want to take and then again you're just chopping along you do get a failed breakout here um way away from the ema you're probably going to at least come back to the ema probably going to come back to here and it may fail and you may make another leg down so that's one you might risk. It is a second entry as well. Even though you're not looking for second entries there, notice the new low, first entry, second entry. So, and then of course we bounce. And I, again, I don't see any chance to buy this that I would be interested in. Come back here and you get a second entry, but again, no signal bar. If that would have broken lower and then turned up, maybe you could trade it as a trap. But it's just... I just think you got to stay out of it. It runs up, makes a new high on this channel, and then you get another one down. And it tries to make a new low, but again, that's just too much sideways action right there. I don't think you're going to want to. Uh, it's no, not thinking uh, you're not going to want to trade that, even though it. There's just no setup there. There's nothing you can really look at and says hey this is going higher I want to go higher with it because it could break out there and fail and come down and make this new low and you see it does break out it tries to come back down and then it bounces right there um, even though these are not equal we try to go lower once twice three times there um, it bounces a big bullish bar I like that just to ride it back to test these highs at a minimum and if you catch that one you may be able to ride that one all the way up and of course it does, it goes to the other side of the channel. And then we come back to this side. Notice the channel working down. You don't want to go be going short. You get the close outside, move to a new low and it bounces and it confirms that. Actually you confirm the trend line here. That was the other reason I like that one. Uh, but you come back right here and it bounces right off the trend line with a bullish bar. I like it. Runs on up. There's a higher low here, but we've moved too far. You can't really take that as a higher low. There is a trend line there, but I don't think you want to risk that. You can see that trend line working up. We get a close outside, move to a new high, and then it turns down. And again, there's just not much up here that you can really take. So uh, there's two, there's a hidden second entry right there, but the signal bar is no good. You don't get a higher low and then you just sideways into the two o'clock. So it's just um, not much happening. Even though we had a really strong rally from noon on, there's not a lot of trades there. You got to be real careful with those things. So um, 
I just think people weren't convinced we were going higher until this last push up. And even then, we had a pretty good sell off, but it's just coming back to the trend line. And you can see finally we got a break there, and it, but it still pushed higher. So I think this thing, I think we're headed at some point to the upper side of the trend line on the daily chart. We just haven't gotten, we just hadn't had enough momentum to push it there yet. But uh, if, if you were looking at it this morning, there were only a few slight clues that would say, hey, we're probably going, we could be going higher. And I talked about those and sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So, uh, you know, trust your instincts on your chart reads. If you're reading it properly, sometimes it's hard to trust them, but you just got to go with what the price action says. And it says here, we're probably going higher. So anyway, there it is. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, it's been on. Uh, again, I'm behind from the holidays. I'm going to try to catch up this week. And um, it's late already. So anyway, I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.